Lauk. Hej. I endeavor yeah. to answer all your questions. <laughs> what is your favorite shade of lipstick? Well, at last count, I had about 150 different lipsticks. Oh, no, wait, I do know. It's a limited edition MAC one from a Rocky Horror Picture Show collection. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. It makes me happy when I see it. I signed up for this. It said, since your character is Rule 33 from the original play, how do you think the fact that Cora was originally a male character affected the way that you portrayed her? The way I sort of looked at it was I sort of... I made her more resentful, almost as if in some recess of her mind like her mum wanted her to be a boy or something. How long did you have to say tied to the chair for the interrogation scene? Oh shit. Um, I don't know how long it was. It was about like an hour or something. The problem we had was mostly that I wasn't actually tied and I kept accidentally breaking free. <laughs> So we go, oh wait, we can't start filming because I've broken out of the chair again. <laughs> um, Anonymous says, what is your favourite quote? It's by Catherine the Great, um, who was like a self-appointed kind of monarch in Russia, or when it was Prussia, in like sort of 16, 1700s. And she wrote a letter to one of her lovers. She had she just cut him off from contact afterwards and she just said at the bottom goodbye the world is full of strange things and that was it do you watch parts of rec yes i do i just started like a month ago and i've nearly finished season seven and oh my heart ben wyatt be mine perks of being a book nerd says you would only decorate your room with three things what would they be i know who she is I have a watercolour painting of a cat with like a David Bowie lightning bolt across its face and it's called David Meowie. I also have a lovely sort of print of a picture by MC Escher and it's like two hands drawing each other. That was my mum's and I really like that one. The other one is um, Claris did it for me. Like for my 20th birthday she gave me a thing that she'd done in like calligraphy writing saying it's not porn, it's Game of Thrones, I swear. And I love that and it just sits above my door my doorway everywhere I go. If you had to pick a song to represent your character, what would it be? It's Arctic Monkeys and it's something like perhaps vampires is a bit strong, but all, all you people are vampires. vampires. <laughs> and all your stories are stale. Hi Lucy, hope you're doing well. Do you have a favourite story about your cat? Okay, this one's kind of a little bit weird, but it's... I think it's one of the funniest jokes I've ever made in my whole life because I love terrible jokes. And I'd just seen The Great Gatsby and so I came home, picked up my cat, went to my mum and like held her up and was like, Catsby? What Catsby? Favourite thing to do after a tough day? As weird as it sounds, I've just gotten into a routine of I really like the feeling of like washing my face, getting out of my uncomfortable clothes and putting on the most comfortable pants I own and just getting into bed and just watching. TV or something stupid and drinking a nice cup of tea. It's underrated. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> what is your favourite Shakespeare play? My favourite Shakespeare play is Antony and Cleopatra, by far, because I love how sassy and bitchy and clever and cunning Cleopatra is, and her relationship with Antony is something really special, I think. I think it's something you don't really come across in other plays. Like, it comes across a little bit in something like Taming of the Shrew, but at the end, she sort of folds. Whereas Cleopatra is like, I got captured and my husband's dead. Fuck this shit. I'm not going to be a prisoner. I'm going to kill myself with a snake on my boob. Do cast members mistakenly call each other by their real names or family or other way around? I've called Holly Virgis a few times. <laughs> <laughs> What is your happy dance? Something happens and I'm excited about it and I can't control it at all. I'll just start bouncing around. <laughs> Sometimes I wiggle like this if I'm really excited and I'm sitting down or something. Have you got had any cool fan experiences? Yes! I've made some friends from you guys! Like I was just on Tumblr like six months ago and all of a sudden I found out one of my Instagram pictures was because I tagged it with M in MTD and a bunch of people had noticed. And they were all lovely, so I sort of started talking to them, and now I have more international friends, and it's just lovely. And what is your Hogwarts house? My Hogwarts house is Ravenclaw. What's your favourite book? Um, either Looking for Alaska by John Green, or it is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. What's your favourite funny face to make? I really like my grumpy cat face. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah.
If you could see it, nothing much to do in an alternate universe, what would that universe be? 300 years in the future. But I can just imagine, like, Benedict on a hoverboard and falling off, and then I imagine the hoverboard just going up and not coming back. <laughs> what would your dream role be? I have a few. Um, I want to play Cleopatra in a full-scale production of Antony and Cleopatra. I want to play Beatrice. And I really want to play the baker's wife in Into the Woods. I'd also love to play Amanda in Private Lives. What headcanons do you have about your character? Everything you sort of see and assume about her in the series is probably what you're guessing. You know, she's kind of resentful, she doesn't really fit in with her own sort of age group and all that sort of stuff. But I imagine that after Messina, after high school, she splits away from everyone and sort of grows up on her own. For some reason, I think she's going to study architecture. Have you got anything else you want to say? Yes. Cool. You should follow me on Tumblr and Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> and talk to me because I like people and I want to make new friends and you can ask me anything you like ever and I'll answer it. Thanks for really liking the series because it makes me and everybody else really happy. Thank you.